Hi, I'm Chris Amerikos, and this is another lesson for my mom. I have a series of videos called Russian for Mom, where I teach some lessons that are useful for my mom to know about the Russian language because she's trying to learn it to communicate with my daughter, my wife, and other Russian people who just happen to fall into our family. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the differences between words like girl, little girl, woman, and elderly woman. So we're going to talk about how you say that in Russian and actually it's not as simple as just translating because a lot of these words have another meaning in culture that you need to know about. So let's jump right in. Okay, so what do most people do when they try to translate a word? They just go to the dictionary and they open it up, they look at the dictionary and they say, okay, девушка, that means girl, right? You've probably heard this word before. You've probably heard the word девушка or the word женщина. So you probably think, oh, that's girl and that's woman and it's that simple. But listen, it's not so easy because yes, you can translate those words directly into English, but you lose a lot of meaning in the translation because there are different situations when we should use these words or when we shouldn't. Let me give you an example. And let's start from the beginning because it's important for you to know all of these different words that we're going to compare. So today, there's four words about women that we're going to compare, and there's four words about men that we're going to compare. Okay, so the first one is девочка. Девочка. And hopefully someone in my team has added some subtitles down here somewhere so you see what this word is. Девочка. This means little girl, and it's really no different from English. This one is pretty much the same. It's a girl who is not an adult, of course, but also not a teenager and also not a baby. So it's after baby, but before teenager. This is девочка, a little girl. The next word is девушка, and most people translate девушка as girl but there are some situations where that might not be the right translation that I'll show you a little bit later. But for now, we can just say that девушка is a girl who maybe is a teenager. Maybe she's 20 years old. Maybe she's a young adult, uh, or in English, you might say a young woman, right? And she might even be 30 years old or maybe even a little older. All of these people, all of these age ranges can be девушка. Now the next word is женщина, женщина. And this is where it becomes a little tricky because in English, if you say to a 19 year old lady that she's a woman, then this means something good, right? She's psychologically mature. She's a grown up. she's an adult, she's a woman, but the word женщина in Russian, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that you're, you're smarter, you're an adult, you're not a kid anymore. What it means is you're older. And the focus of this word is really that you're older than just a girl, you're not a girl anymore. And so, yes, we usually translate the word женщина as woman, but if you said this to a 19 year old, they would be upset. It would be like an insult because a 19 year old is девушка, not женщина, unless you think that she looks really old. Like you think she looks 40, 50, something like that, right? So uh, that's, that's a really big uh, mistake to avoid, <laughs> especially maybe if there's a woman in your family or a young woman in your family, if you call her женщина and she doesn't feel like that's who she is, she just feels like she's younger, then you know this could cause a, an issue or she might not like that at least. Okay, the last word that we need to talk about related to women is babushka, babushka. And babushka means grandmother. However, you know, the example I gave my mom was that she is a grandmother because I have a daughter, so technically she's a grandmother. But if somebody who she doesn't know calls her babushka, then it's gonna be kind of strange because babushka usually is a little older and looks older than my mom. Maybe I can find a picture and put it up on the screen somewhere. 
So you can see what my mom looks like, and she's more like Zhenshina, not like Babushka, right? So uh, this is really important because when you talk to people in public, when you need to get their attention, you don't usually say, excuse me, excuse me, right? Some of the books or courses that you may be using to study Russian might tell you that you should say, извините, right? Be before everything you say, извините, right? <laughs> to sound polite like you would in English. But it's different. It's not English. You don't need to say that. And honestly, in my experience, I don't hear a lot of people walking around trying to get someone's attention. Извините. No, no, because... Typically, we use izvinite to say sorry, like to apologize when we did something wrong, right? We don't usually use it to say, I need your attention. So uh, I wouldn't say that. Usually when someone's trying to get your attention, they call you by one of these categories that you are. So if you're a young woman, they're going to say, Devushka, Devushka, right? They're going to get your attention like this. If you're a little older, they might say, Zhenshina. So this is how they'll get your attention. Now you might be thinking, but what if there's lots of girls or women around me, right? Who, do they, who are they speaking to? How do I know? You don't know. This is the same as if I said, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Right? If I just say, ma'am, in English, then all English speakers know that this is a way that you can get someone's attention if you don't know their name or you don't know something else to say to get their attention. Then you say, ma'am, excuse me, especially in a formal situation, right? So in Russian, you would use женщина, женщина, девушка, and people know that that's how you get people's attention and people will turn around and look and they'll be able to see from the context who you're talking to. The same as if you said, ma'am, and there's lots of women around and people turn around and look at the context, right? Now. These four different categories or four different words also exist for men, but they're a little different. And you know, men uh, care less if you call them um, old or young or usually. So for example, um, malchik, malchik, this is like a young boy, little boy like this, right? It's not a baby, but also not a teenager. Once they become a teenager, then you usually call them maladoy chelovyak. Maladoy chelovyak. There's two words, right? Maladoy chelovyak. And this literally means young person, but you only use it about men. You only use it about young men. And just like the word devushka is between teenager years and uh, 30, maybe a little later. Maladoy Chelovyak also applies to this age range for men. Now, yes, it would be really strange if you called a 30-year-old person Malchik, right? Like, that, that means that he's younger than he really is. It means he's less mature. He's like a child. So this probably would not be mm, very nice to say, <laughs> right? Uh, he, he might not like that. And the next category of these words is Mushina. Mushina. Now, usually we translate Mushina as just man, like we translate Zhenshina as woman. Mushina is man. And Mushina, actually, people don't care if you use it for someone who's maybe 20, 30, uh, but usually it means like a more developed, more mature man, right? A little older and maybe a little stronger or bigger. Uh, mushina. And also notice that the beginning of the word mushina includes the word muj. And the word muj means husband. So they're connected here. And then of course you have grandpa or grandfather. And that's dedushka. Dedushka. So if you want to talk about your grandma and grandpa, your grandfather and grandmother, your grandparents, then you'll usually say babushka i dedushka. Babushka i dedushka. Or for short, especially for young children, they might say Baba i Dieda. Baba i Dieda. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Chris, it sounds very straightforward. Okay, there's some differences between girl and woman and those things, but, but overall, I get it, right? I hope so. Because now you also need to understand that some of these words are used in official settings when you go to restaurants, especially restaurants. 
So let's imagine that we're sitting at a restaurant and nobody has come to our table. Believe me, sometimes that happens. And you need to get their attention and be like, hey, hey, I need some food, right? So what do you do? You say, Dievushka, Dievushka, right? You get their attention. You don't know their name, but you know what they look like. So you can decide if they're Dievushka, if they're Zhenshina, if they're Maladoy Chalovyek, if they're Mushina. You can decide which one they are. And maybe, maybe you forget something in the restaurant and you start to leave and, and somebody picks up your wallet and says, Mushina or Maladoy Chalovyek, right? So they're trying to get your attention to show you that you forgot something. And this is a really, really important case because uh, you need to call the person the right thing. What if you see a 19 year old woman, girl, and you look at her and you say, Zhenshina. Well, she is gonna be a little offended by that. It means you're telling her that she looks a lot older than she really is. And you know, women never like to hear that. I guess men don't either, mostly. But uh, there's a very special situation here that when I'm speaking to someone in a restaurant who's working there, and you'll notice if you go to Russia that many, many, many restaurants hire lots of young men and young women. You don't see a lot of older people working in this industry. So in a restaurant, no matter what they look like, typically people will say Dievushka to get the attention of the person working. If it's a girl, a woman, you say Dievushka. And if it's a man, then you'll say Maladoy Chelovek. Maladoy Chelovek. That's how you get someone's attention in a restaurant. Dievushka or Maladoy Chelovek. Okay, and that's because that's just a standard word that we use for most people who work in this industry and it's usually correct 95% of the time. So if there is a woman who's a little older and she's working in this position, then I would still call her Dievushka probably. So I hope that lesson helps you understand the differences between Dievushka, Dievushka, Zhenshina, Babushka, and also Marchik, Maladoy Chelovek, Mushina, and Dedushka. If you like this video, go ahead and press like, press subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you want me to make more videos for my mom like this and throw them on YouTube so that you can watch them too, then let me know that also. By the way, you can go over to our website. We have some printouts and we have some downloads and we have some cool stuff going on over there. And if you want Russian lessons, like help speaking Russian and practice speaking and uh, all of those great things, we have some teachers who can help with that too. So you can reach out. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.